Hey, what's up? We're having a look at the latest Samsung washing machine. Big, big wash capacity, 16 kilos. Just enough for you to load everything you'd want in one wash. Now, with this washer, it you can buy it with a dryer to stack on top or to put on the side. I'll be getting into that in another video when I get the dryer, and then you can set them up the same way. This is a nice finish. This black finish is a nice premium finish. Now, I've done previous videos showing you the models that are before this one which are the white colors and a bit smaller in wash capacity. But the black finish in this and then the silver finish to this gives it this nice premium finish that most people would love in their laundries. Now, price wise, this is a bit on that higher expensive side, but for the wash capacity you get and for the wash quality you get, this is definitely something I'd definitely recommend for you to have in your shopping list whenever it's time to upgrade. And hey, I post a lot of videos showing you these new washing machines and new dryers that come out. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that subscribe button or hit that like button if you're finding value in these videos. And if you wanna look at the models that are done before, have a look at the other videos that I have before. I also post videos on the errors that you can get with these washers because when you buy them, they're new, but then later on in life, they'll have faults and they'll break down. I have vi videos on how to fix these and how to get over those errors and get your washer working again. But let's just jump right into this one. To open it, you've got this big door here. Massive, massive wash capacity in there, as you can see, it's got a uh, light in there in as well so you can see what you're doing you don't have to get a torch up in there from your phone or switch on the laundry lights you can just have the light switch on from there so as you can see this door is nice and big so you can load up a lot of things 16 kilos is a lot and usually you just load it up to halfway up the door and that will do the trick in terms of controls, you control this washer through everything here. Everything is controlled through the touch displays there. Very, very simple, nice, easy design that anyone can use. I really love how Samsung's moving into these simpler controls and you can control it with your phone as well. So have at it. Let's take a closer look as to the wash options that we have on here how to control it, and some of the handy tips that you can use when you do decide to get yours, or if you're trying to make a purchasing decision, I'll be showing you the things that will come with this washer. So right off the bat, to turn it on and off, you have this power button here, and this dial which you use to select cycles. Now you look over here, it says washer at the bottom and then dryer at the top, and then you have a start and stop start and pause button at the bottom and on the top. So with these, you can actually control the washer and the dryer just from this panel. So the idea behind that is, if you do get a matching dryer, you can set it up on top so that when you wash, when you take your clothes out of the washing machine, you don't need to do anything when you load up the dryer. You just open it and put it in there and then you can continue the cycle or you can just continue, control it just from down here. You wouldn't need to be putting your hand up sometimes because when you stack these up, the height can get a bit taller and it'll just too hard to just keep reaching up high and then selecting the cycles and all that. So you can control it from at the bottom here. So when you buy one of these, they'll come with some optional con connectors here. So these connectors here are what connects your washing machine to your dryer so that they can sync the cycles and you can then select what you want to control. So from here, I can go, all right, I want to do, I was going to skip these calibration processes and all right, so if I want to control the dryer, I can go dryer. So it just asked me to connect the dryer because I haven't connected this. So if you ever do get the dryer, 
you can set it on top of the washing machine. Now with that, you'll need a stacking unit, which will help you to connect them and set them up. And then that way you can control your dryer from this panel and start the cycles. And it will actually show you the cycles that are available in the dryer. So it's pretty good. And with that dryer, it's a heat pump dryer, which saves a lot of electricity when you're washing and when you're drying. So definitely that drying function, that heat pump saves energy, uses less energy sometimes, less energy than your TV. So I'd highly recommend you invest in one of those. If you can, just buy them as two units and then that way you can use them together. In terms of controlling the washer, this is your power. And then this a light will show you which one you're controlling, whether you're controlling the washer or you're controlling the dryer. So at the moment we're controlling the washer. You use this dial to select your wash cycles. Now your wash cycles will show here. This is an energy saving wash and this time is set is based on the load. So it's going to detect how much you've put in there and then tell you how much time that cycle is going to take. So it tells you here you've got different options. You've got the temperature, how many rinse cycles it's going to do during that wash and uh, it's going to show you the spin speed as well, which you can change. Um, so the higher you go, the higher it spins. And then that's your additional menus button. So there's all in all, there's a couple of buttons. I'd say about six, seven buttons that you use all touch sensitive. So just make sure that your hands are dry whenever you're controlling these washers because then you're not, it won't control it properly if your hands are wet. So for your wash cycles, you just move this and then it shows you the cycle that it's doing. It's a cotton and linen cycle and AI wash. So it's auto adjust to the stains and the load. And also like it knows the things that you usually wash and the cycles that you usually select the settings that you're going to use with that. It adjusts to that and selects those wash cycles. So for example, this is a 40 degree wash to rinse cycles and four times the spin speed. And is it going there? It's a quick wash, small loads wash fast. And a quick wash is usually uh, 15 minutes. So if I press and hold play here, yeah, that's how you start a cycle. You press and hold it. So that's like a quick 15 minute wash. And obviously if you add like the um, different temperatures, then it will sort of take a longer time. And then you've got hygiene steam, bubble wash. So it'll all show you the times that it's gonna take whenever you start the cycle, it's gonna show you all that. It's based on the load. So until you actually start the wash, until it actually locks the door and starts the wash, it won't show you the time there. So that's something that you have to be mindful of. And as you're going, colors. So all these cycles are just different variations of temperature and spin speed to optimize for whatever piece of fabric you have so that your clothes won't stain and your clothes won't shrink. That's what it does. And again, like this will, you'll find eventually you'll find what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So you definitely want to see what works for you. Then you've got your colors thing you can select. Delicates, gentle for lingerie, low temperature, and these ones, some of them, they don't have weight determined wash cycles. They just have set times, delicates 51 minutes, towels. So as you're going along, you can see this little menu that will show you how far you're progressing down the list, which you can just keep going, keep going. And you can see all these cycles that you have. There's a lot. You can also add on to these cycles, depending on like what you want to wash. You can also add using the app when you download it and connect it to smart things via the app. Then that way you can load from the internet the wash cycles that you wanna add on there. Maybe you've got like gym wear and stuff that doesn't appear on this menu. You can use that downloaded cycle. So it's pretty simple like that. Then when we're looking at the menus here, if you press this, this is for the extra menus button. So this starts with the additional functions. If you press that, you can turn this dial and it'll show you the things that you can select. You've got bubble soak. So bubble soak is sort of like 
for those dirty stubborn stains you can add that onto a wash say you're doing a cotton cycle and um, it's really dirty you can add the bubble soak so you just press that and then add bubble soak so that adds an extra 30 minutes to your wash so that's just soaking your clothes and bubbles a lot of bubbles in there so that those stubborn stains are taken out pretty cool then you move on you've got add garments so that will work once you've started a cycle then you can sort of like say hey I've started a cycle I need to add some garments and then that's your add wash function so if you've forgotten that sock or that piece of clothing that you're supposed to put in there you can actually add it on after the wash cycle starts now the beautiful thing about this is it doesn't have that little door here which sometimes runs into problems if people don't maintain it nice enough this just has this big door so when you set it to that add wash it'll drain the water in there and then allow this door to unlock that way you can add more clothes and wash whatever you've forgotten to add on there as we move on you've got dose per wash so you can actually control the amount of washing power washing liquid or softener that you add in every wash now this is an automatic dispensing washing machine so if you look here on your left it automatically dispenses the washing liquid and softener you just pop open these caps add it on in there and then set and you forget you don't have to worry about adding softener or washing liquid every time you do a cycle when you're done just close it up if you do it manually if you don't want to use softener or if you don't want to use washing powder you can just put it in there but as far as softener goes you just keep it in there when you're ready you close it make sure it's nice and tight closed up nicely so you can control the amount of washing liquid or softener that goes in there default set to medium so you can increase it to high or low or medium or off if you just use it if you want to use washing powder manually or liquid manually you can just set it to off then select some more here dose per rinse that's to control the amount of softener that's added in the cycle and you can set it to low medium or high or off if you want to do it manually then my cycles is you select the cycles that you want to add on there these are personalized settings that a lot of people might want to use but a lot of people don't use that so up to you if you want to go down that route you can definitely save your own cycles so instead of just scrolling through these menus trying to find the one that works for you you can just send, save them in my cycles and then you'd have it there ready for you to do whatever cycle that you want to do then the drum light so you can tap it to turn it on so if you want to see what's going on there you can turn it on and off I'm not, the door doesn't make it easy the color of the door doesn't make it easy to you for you to see what's going in there but I've just turned on that light and I can turn it off as well so I just turn that off and that's off then delay end so a delay end is such that if you're going out or you have come home late you don't want to wait up for the clothes to finish washing you can actually set it to start washing just before you wake up in the morning so you put your clothes in then select your wash cycle then you can select the delay end so delay end and you can go okay start washing after I'll be up in eight hours so start washing after seven hours and then it'll just start counting down so that just as you wake up it's finishing washing and then you can put them straight into the dryer instead of having them just sitting in the washer and creasing same thing goes for if you're going out shopping or you're going to work instead of say hey I'll be back from shopping in eight hours so start washing after seven hours so that just as you're walking in it's finishing and you can take the clothes straight out of this washer into your dryer or onto the clothesline you can delay th this for up to 24 hours so you can start washing tomorrow if you want as well so that's pretty cool then uh, I can just cancel that cancelled and I want to see what other options I have on the additional menus button you've got child lock now a lot of people have kids and child lock just makes sure that all these because kids get 
excited and you know you just want to touch everything see oh how does this work so to, to prevent them from opening the door or disturbing the wash cycle you can actually make it lock the door and the controls here even for the dryer as well that really really important so that they don't get burnt or you know just climb in there i don't know if anyone will fit in there but that's there to just protect the washing machine and to protect your kids as well from the washing machine to turn it on go onto your extra menus button and then child lock press that and it's off so the door can open now and the buttons can be controlled so that's for your extra menus button now there is additional settings that you can control in this washer these work by pressing and holding this button for three seconds until system functions appear so that's this little button with the hand so you can turn the dial to see what you have so detergent because i've turned it off it's not allowing me to change anything but the detergent one time is the strongest that you have so the detergent it's setting how much you're putting in in the cycle like how strong it's going to be we know it's going to be low medium or high but we want to put it you can put it up to three times or so the higher you put it the lower the concentration you know same thing goes for the softener the higher this number is if you put it on three times it's softer and weaker and you can smell it that much same thing goes for the detergents it's just how much in terms of milliliters it's putting in there then ai pattern this is for you to know like what you like most if you don't like artificial intelligence learning about your patterns you can just switch it off and then let it work as per normal and we have the alum so a lot of people ask how can you turn off the sound on this all right you can i've got good news and bad news you can play off the you can turn off the alarm that plays at the end of the cycle but you cannot get rid of this sound the sound when you turn the buttons or start the buttons so that's staying with you for a while until samsung comes up with an update and you can turn it off from here there's no way to really turn off these buttons and when you press it so just be mindful of that because a lot of people have been asking how to turn off the sound you cannot turn it off for now but mind you it's just software i'm sure samsung can change it calibration so you can calibrate your washing machine to accurately measure your wash load and then that way your washing machine will last longer because you're not super super overloading it that way it's working nice and proper so you can do a couple of calibration after every few months if you feel that it's not washing properly and that's about it be sure to check out the smart things one i've done on how to connect this to the internet and all the other things i'll see you on the next one